Creations. My wife, Julie, and I own Creek Bank Creations, a paper crafting company out of beautiful Perrysville, Indiana, the land of tall corn and not much more, where we've got snow coming out of our ears. I mean, we got snow everywhere. We got snow, 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 snow. Gosh, in the last 24 hours, I think we got uh, about 11 inches of snow. Uh, and uh, gosh, they shut down a lot of the roads and uh, we haven't had a snowfall like this in years, but uh, we are adjusting. I am really glad I have four-wheel drive on my pickup uh, because we can get up and down the hills, in and out, and wherever we want to go. Don't have to really worry about a snow plow. So with that, I uh, hope you guys are doing well, especially my friends down in Texas. I understand you may be without power. I hope you're getting some uh, electricity up there and uh, staying warm. They don't uh, have power. They're probably not with you tonight. If you don't have power, I guess you wouldn't be with me tonight unless you have a good solar charger for your cell phone. Uh, but hey, we just got back from uh, beautiful, sunny Clearwater, Florida. We had a good show down there. We enjoyed seeing, hey, Kathy, enjoyed seeing you down there and you other crafters. We really, Loretta, we enjoyed seeing you as well. And oh, gosh, I can go on and on, all, so all you crafters and you crafters who use the buzzword, hoochie-coo, hoochie-coo. You got something special. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, remember, hoochie-coo can't be used anymore. We'll have another. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Judy. Uh, uh, we, uh, we will have another buzzword for the next show. And incidentally, the next show is going to be April 19th and 20th at the Hendrix County Fairgrounds in Danville, Indiana, just outside April, of Indianapolis. Wait, wait. No, no. April, March. April. March. Did I say April? I think so. Did I say April or did I say March? If I said April, I meant March. So, uh, anyway, come and see us. We're going to have a good okay, time. Let's clarify that information. We're going to, excuse me, Mrs. Creek would like to clarify the information. The March information. 19th and 20th. March 19th and 20th at the Hendricks County Fairgrounds in Danville, Indiana. Free parking. Woo, woo, woo. That's great. It's always good to have free parking at those big venues. Uh, and we're going to have a great time. And I will have another buzzword. Tonight, we continue our saga okay, of. Okay, hold on. What? Hold on. If they're in a state that they're closed and they want to get out to go do some shows, Indianapolis is a good option, and so is St. Louis. Okay. Mrs. Creek said, if you're in a state... And you feel comfortable getting out. And you feel comfortable getting out. And you want to come out and do some shows, Indianapolis is a great option for you. Okay? We've been open for a long time. Uh, also, uh, we're still planning on being in St. Louis or uh, Collinsville, Illinois. Uh, in April, uh, so we're looking forward to that show as well. So those of you that are live in Southern Illinois or uh, uh, Missouri, or maybe you want to ma make a trip, or maybe you want to make a road trip. That's right. In fact, if you want to make a road trip, come on over to River Treat in Perrysville, Indiana. We've got a great bed and breakfast. We'd love to welcome you there and host you. So, so at tonight we are going to be doing the congratulations da, 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 typewriter card. Isn't that cool? Ha 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 ha. Yes, got the little, got the little, little prize in there, or the gift for the, for the graduate. Of course, uh, if you, if you don't give them more than a buck, well, you gave them a nice card. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there you go. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Julie's gonna do a little heat embossing on this card tonight. It's really cool. Don't forget the typewriter bundle. We still have a few of those. That is a hundred and twenty-one dollar value. Hundred and twenty dollars ninety-two cents. On sale for $90.99. It's going to save you almost 30 bucks. Plus, you're going to get free freight. You're going to get that ever, ever coveted typewriter card. You're going to get the brand new Just a Note stamp. The new typewriter font stamp. The Postage Edge multi-piece die. There is one, two, three, four, five, six... Six postage edge dies, along with five other There's dies in that package. There's lots of interest in that die. There's at lots the of show. interest People in the die at the show. People are that. very excited about it. You're going to get the Wreath Maker Sentiments, which is lots of cool sentiments. You're going to get the Relax Stamp, and you're going to get. Da 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 da. But, uh, hold on, I want to clarify. Dorothy's with you from Pennsylvania. Hey, Dorothy. Hey, Sarah Dorothy. Sarah is with you from Texas with no electricity. Ah, oh, no electricity, Sharon. Uh, going postal, 
rubber stamp comes with it too. Now, if you may have noticed, there is also a going postal matching die that does not come with the bundle. If you want the die, use the coupon code 2021 and you get 15% off on that die. Uh, but anyway, that is going to save you with all this stuff on the typewriter bundle. Going to save you just under 30 bucks. Well, it's actually going to save you more than 30 bucks because you're going to get free freight with it too. So, heck of a deal. I still have a few of those yeah. left. Janice Dodd from Tennessee. So, take a bitch. Hey, Janice, how are you? Uh, also, we got some new stuff coming. Oh, by the way, tonight's card is also going to feature the Congratulations Sentiment die, the Mini Grad Set die. And the graduation cap stencil. Now, all those products are available at 15% off if you use the coupon and code 2021. Would you like to talk about the graduation paper pad? Well, sure. Do you have it's one? It's right up there. So let's, well, since we're talking about graduation, let's talk about the graduation paper pad, shall we? Where is it? It's right here. Ah, it was very well received. Very well show. received at the show. As you can see, it comes with a graduation gnome a gnome graduate graduation of gnome he's on there it is a six but 24 sheets in there four sheets of 12 patterns that means there's a pattern on each side do the math it sounds like four times 12 is 48 but actually it's 24 because you got two sides of the paper i'll let you figure that out when you open the package it's full of good stuff okay anyway uh, that's $5.99 for that paper pad. Use the coupon code 2021. Get holy cow 15% off. Remember what I always say, we don't make much money, but... We make a lot of friends. That's right, we make a lot of friends. I get pretty many creations. Okay, now then, we are introducing, we're doing this incrementally here, a new line of spring confetti for those and shaker we kits. We apologize that it wasn't here earlier. We do? Yeah, I... That was supposed to be here earlier. Julie apologizes that it wasn't here earlier. I, on the other hand, didn't know that it wasn't supposed to be here, so I'm not apologizing. So it's all right on time for me. But anyway, check this out. This is the new M's. So not to be confused with M&M. Oh, that edible candy with the M on it. Anyway, these are, don't want you eating these, but they're great in the shaker kits, okay? We just introduced those. You know, there's a lot less calorie than those. That's right. But you, but you chew on that a while. I tell you what, you'll burn up some calories. Anyway, that's great for those new shaker kits. Check those out online. Julie just put them on there. We've got lots of other new designs, some new Easter eggs, which are really cool. I'm not going to give not it available all. Yet and you but, supposed to bring that up. Oh, I'm supposed to bring that up. But we're going to give you a sneak preview next Tuesday with the, with the new ones because we're working on getting those out and ready to go for you. So, without any further ado, Mrs. Creek, are you ready to rock and roll? I'm ready, baby. The lady is ready. Good to see you all, and here she comes. Greetings, my crafty friends. Um, oh. <laughs> Mr. Creek always leaves the volume, leaving the volume on. Um, we are... I didn't know if we were going to make it tonight because of the weather, so we are thankful that we made it tonight, and um, we are um, we are thankful. thankful thankful to be here. And we were literally um, we normally do not drive any great distance after working a trade show, except for except <laughs> well because I'm exhausted and the last thing I want to do is sit in a truck for. Hours. Can you read and the sentiments on the bundle stamp before you go into that story? Vonda would like to know what the sentiments say on the bundle stamp and the stamps on the bundle. They're right there. The bundle? Right here. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. Hang on, okay. Vonda. We're gonna get you. So right here. the relaxed stamp is the one that has the um, sentiment for some things there are no words. And this is the four by six set that's awesome for beach cards. And it, ha it does have a happy birthday on it. Um, so it says, I uh, hope your day is like a day in the beach. Have a flip flopping great day. For some things, there are no words. Relax in the sun. Wear flip flops. Have fun. And we used that on the inside of Tom's desk card. 
Did you all know this was Tom's desk? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For real, it is. Actually, that's cleaner than Tom's desk. The Just a Note to Say stamp is the stamp that I designed that has the typewriter text that goes on the inside. I'm missing some of my samples because they're in the booth. So Just a Note to Say has that sentiment strip that goes across there and then it has the text that goes in the typewriter. It's got sending all my love, happy Mother's Day, blessings, happy birthday, happy Father's Day, get well soon. So it has a little bit of everything on it. Then we have the Wreath Maker Sentiments. This is an amazing set because it has a little bit of everything on it. And these sentiments are awesome because they are small enough to fit right on the little piece of paper for the typewriter. Now we use the thanks so much on the outside of the messy desk card, but it also says, love you, get well soon, happy Mother's Day, you are in my prayers. Oh yes, you did. Bless you, happy, 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 you're so kind, happy Easter, you're the best, congratulations. Happy retirement for you, sending sunshine. So this is an amazing set. I just have one thing to say. There ain't no sunshine when you're gone. There ain't no Stay. sunshine when you're gone. There's none. This is an amazing set because it has a, a ton of stuff on it. And I made the graduation, um, I made a graduation typewriter card the other day and I used, oh yes you did. That's like one of my favorite expressions. So right. um, we are trucking along here tonight. Tonight we're going to make the graduation card. I'm going to teach you a little embossing technique, which you might already know, but it's a cool little technique. So we're going to go over that tonight. And I wanted to share with you a scripture from 2 Chronicles chapter 32, verse 7. Now, you know, when you read the Bible, I don't know if you read the Bible, but when I read the Bible, um, I like to like read the context of the scripture. So like, What's going on that makes this scripture, 2 Chronicles 32, 7, significant? So here's what 2 Chronicles 32, 7 says. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged because the king of Assyria and the vast army with him. For, he, for there is a power greater with us than with him. So I thought this was scripture was a good scripture to talk about tonight because one thing that I'll have to say that I noticed that was different from the last time we traveled. So we traveled um, down to Florida. Was that in July? In July? Mm -hmm. In July. And then we basically made the same trip this week. And people are fearful. People have fear on them. Like when we're out and about, like when we're getting gas, you can see fear on people. And it is easy to start to feel fearful because of everything that we have all lived through. We have lived through a lot of trauma in the last year. And it's kind of a normal thing that you, your, your psyche is trying to adapt to all of the trauma that we're all going through. So I just want to encourage you about this. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged. Now, that doesn't mean that you, like, if you feel like you need to stay home and you need to be careful, that's not what this is talking about. This is about what's going on up here that makes you um, Jump. fearful, Jumple. jumpy. Yeah. So the Lord, what the scripture is telling us is we don't have to be afraid because there is a power that's greater within us. God has not given us a spirit of fear. And God, and yes, but that's a different mind. scripture. Tom's but over there still... um, quoting, God's not given us a spirit of fear. I just want to encourage you that if you're, if you're feeling um, traumatized, stressed, to grab a hold of some of these scriptures. And what's interesting about this in, in 2 Chronicles 32, 7, is that um, the city... Um, Hezekiah is the king, and the city is under siege. He, um, he was being attacked by Sennacherib, 
and it, it was a, a war. All out battle in the city was under siege. He was trying at the time to rebuild broken walls that were around the city to protect the people. We're talking, this was like a um, 2020 offense. pandemic year that these people were going through. This was tough stuff. That's why I'm saying when you read the scriptures, it's important to know the context. So um, that's the Lord's encouragement. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria. I don't know who the king of Assyria is in your life, but this says the king of Assyria and the vast army, for there is a greater power with us than with him. So it would be good to think about who in your life is the king of Assyria? Who, what threatens you? What makes you feel fear, fearful? And then think about the scripture and read the scripture in that context. Yes, Thomas. Sharon is asking if those are new brush sizes behind. You know, those are the same. No. Those are the same uh, J brushes. Same, same, same thing. All right. So um, that's my encouragement for you. By the today. way, Mrs. Creek, you look exceptionally nice tonight with your hair. Oh. It's fantastic. You, you, you are know, one hot woman. You are you are um, aggravating me. I am. Yeah, because you're full of baloney. I am not. Okay, all right. Had to check my uh, live feed over there. So, um, mm, hang on here. Got a live feed problem. My this has you talking on it. I don't know what to tell you because um, I didn't sign into that one. Well, what do I do? Sign in. Uh, just just get your. You're signing in any account, your account? No, I'm signed in, but it it's the feed is lagging so bad that I can't well, see. Is it lagging to, on your end? No. You need to what hit, what Wi-Fi? Hit the refresh. Hit the refresh. What Wi-Fi are you on? Sorry. Wireless room. Okay. We're going to try to refresh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm about no, ready I'm to get refresh. started. We are going to um, make the graduation car tonight, and we are going to stamp that background. Sorry, I'm waiting for this to refresh. Stamp that background and then ink on top of it. So, okay, I guess I'm just going to have to do my best with what we have to offer. Okay. Okay, I have nothing over here, so you're going to have to tell me. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to pull the camera down. And so much for having good Wi-Fi, huh? Um, I got nothing over there. Okay, hang on. Oh, you're going to have to tell me how I'm doing, Tom. Because I can, I can see nothing. Let's get a card in there, shall we? Yes. And I'm refreshing. So this is not good. Hold on. What? There it, is. There it comes. But I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, you're right on the money, honey. You're right there. I'm right on the money, but I'm running blind. Here, I'll let you take my screen. Give me your computer. Okay, I'm on. I'm on. I got it. Okay. Woo! All right, so we are going to work on this awesome graduation card. And what I love about this is with this resist technique, you can ink it the color that you want. And I see my grid pad's upside down. Turn it over. So we're going to start with a black piece of paper for this card. And that piece of paper is going to measure. I'm going to turn the grid around. Turn the grid around. Go ahead, sing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Got to do something. So we're going to start with a black card stock. 5.5 by 8.5. And we're going to fold it in half. That's pretty easy. We can handle that, can't we? So that's our background. And then we're going to cut a white piece of cardstock, 5.25 by 4. And we are going to put that on the front of our card. So I'm just going to use what some. What was that size again? Um, do, do. 4 by 5.25. Now, we kind of didn't talk about um, if you buy the bundle. From us, the bundle special. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah. You get the instructions with it. 
So you can um, print off the written instructions. And if you do not want to buy... That's a 499 value, too. That is a 499 value. I would value it at more than 40 to 499, but that's what we're charging for it because it is full of really good information. <laughs> so, if you do not want to buy the whole entire bundle, you can just go to the website and buy the PDF and download the PDF, and then you'll have the written instructions. What's great about the written instructions is all of the tips that are in there about folding. So it is a great thing to have. There's our there's our basic background. Now we're going to take another piece of white cardstock and we are going to cut that 3.75 by 5. We're going to take our stamp board and we're going to put our card on that stamp board. And this is a fun little thing to do with the um, type background. We're going to set that we're going to put the card in, and when I'm doing this, I am only, I'm going to tape this in, but I'm going to um, only put tape right on that outside edge. Does Jesus Coffee in a card come with it free, too? Jesus Coffee in a card is included. Um, at no additional. At no at no, we just add that in. When you buy the bundle, you get, it for free. You get, you get Jesus, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, we're going to take the typed background stamp. We're going to center it on our paper. And we are going to pick it up. And we are going to use our Wow Clear embossing powder. Or this is the embossing pad, actually. Super gooey, sticky pad. And one of the things that I like about this over the Versamark is it's just so um, sticky that the embossing powder sticks really well. So we're going to take that and stamp. And when this, when we stamp this, it's going to be totally clear. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do it twice. We're going to do it again. Now, what's fun about the um, Wow embossing pad? is that there is a refill. Oh shoot, do we have those here? The refills? Wow. Well, yeah, the rolling ball. I was just gonna show them the rolling ball. Mm. You know, the refill for the... Oh, okay. Yeah, they have a refill for this, so you can refill it, and the great thing about it is it conditions the pad as well when you use the rolling ball on it. So we're gonna push that down and just get our background, and it's gonna be totally clear. So I'm going to pull the tape off of this and we're going to add our clear embossing powder. Wipe off my... I think somehow you have shanghai my internet channel with your laptop. Okay. Because I can't communicate. Okay. What channel are you on? I'm on that year 80, but I'm on my YouTube channel. Okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, just keep going. Do you want me to turn it off? Well, I can you... I can disconnect. Well, then you're not going to have a monitor. No, I'm it. not. But we'll if you... out we'll why out don't you try a different... Yeah. We have new um, internet systems here. Okay, I'm going to put a piece of paper down, and I'm going to put my card here, and we are going to add the clear embossing powder. What's fun, if you use the clear embossing powder, is that it's going to just set on that where you've put your um, stamped image and it's going to be totally clear. So the background is going to show through. Okay, so we've got our embossing powder on there. We're going to make sure we get it covered. Now, what's fun is if we don't get this absolutely perfect, it doesn't matter because it's kind of a distorted type font anyway. And we have the congratulations sentiment that we're going to put on the front. So if we don't get it perfect, we're, we're okay. Okay, I'm going to turn on the heat gun. We're going to heat. Now, I am using the WOW heat gun. And this is the gun that we normally stock and have on the website. 
but it's currently out of stock from the manufacturer. This is one of those COVID things that uh, got affected. I'm going to pull this up so you can see, if you can see it. What we're going to do is just run the heat gun across here, and we will see, we look at it, it's turning glossy. So the heat's going to heat set everything, and all we're going to have are those clear letters on top. And we've got somebody knocking at the door, so Tom's going to go answer the door. There we go. So we're going to make sure we get all that melted. And I do have, I picked up a thread somehow. We're going to see if we can get it out of there while it's still hot. Who was your visitor, Tom? That was Tom. Tom, Tom the visitor. So we're, we are located in a senior housing complex. And uh, Tom's friend, Tom stopped by. <laughs> Tom has a friend named Tom. Okay, awesome. There we go. Now, I'm going to pull this up so you can see it. I'm, I'm not perfect. I don't have it totally perfect, but that's okay. It's good enough. And this whole thing is supposed to be a little bit um, a distorted look anyway. So we have our background. We're going to take our orange ink, and I just wanted to show how you could transform this and use like whatever the school color was of your local school. And we're gonna pick up our ink and then we're just gonna ink onto the card. All the way around. So you can decide how dark or light you wanna make it. And we're just gonna ink right on top of that embossing So you can really make this work for you depending on what your school colors are and how you do it. There's our background. And I am going to, now I'm using the J brush and I have the band pulled back. So this is our J brush, it's our stencil brush. I had this designed, the large barrel, so it's really easy to hold and I'm just picking up ink and dragging it on there. When I go to close my brush, I'm gonna pull that up Put the lid on. So when you buy the brush, they come unbanded and we have a color card and we recommend one brush per color family. And if you buy a six pack, you get a color We'll card give you the color free. card for free for and free. then you can mark That's them. Right for free. So I'm gonna take my dry cloth. Now we have the Wonder Wipe and when you buy the Wonder Wipe, it comes with two. A wet one, I the blue one I keep for wet and the yellow one I keep for dry. So we're gonna rub this on here. And when we do, the ink will rub off right where we have it set on the... So the stamp area is still clear? This, the stamp's going to come through clear, and the so the white will show through the background. So just kind of... I'm going to add more ink. More, more ink. ink. I'm going to add more ink just we so can you can see contrast better. So the ink is not going to set into the clear embossing powder, and we're using the wow. I'm going to darken it up a little bit so you wow. can see. Wow. Now, if you put a wet cloth to this, there we go. That shows up better. You need a wet cloth? No. Um, if you do, it'll change the look of it even more. I'm going to show them. So this is a dry cloth. If you put a wet cloth on it, you have to be kind of careful because um, this is water reactive ink, but I, I do want to show you that as an option. There's your background, okay? And now if I use a wet one, get my cloth wet. Did you want to get wet? Nope. It'll, it'll just change the look of it even more. And you can see, I kind of don't like what it did right there. Big old swipe in the middle. So I'm gonna add some more ink. But you can see how 
the wet cloth kind of took off more ink. Let's add a little more back in and then you can mess around with it. You're going to get a different look depending on how you do it. So options, my friends, options. There we go. That darkened up our background for us. So that's just a great little technique to do with the background. And now we are going to add that onto the front of our card. And you can mess around with school colors. And if you have um, colors that work with that, that works great. If you have gold in your school colors, you can use the gold embossing powder. If you have blue in your school colors, you could use the blue embossing powder. You could. You could. You know, if you, I bet if you had the red school colors, you could use what? Well, you could do clear and then use the... Red embossing powder. Right? No, use clear and then use red ink. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, we're going to set that on there. Right in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to add the congratulations sentiment. So I've already die cut that, and I have cut that with my super tacky tape on the back. Now, if you're not familiar with the tape, we sell that in a three inch roll and a six inch roll, and we unroll that, put our paper on, put it on the tape, and then when we die cut, that turns that into a sticker. Here's our congratulations. So I've already die cut these with the tape on the back. And we do have some paper fibers hanging off the edge. I'm gonna add my little dot for my O, or for my I, right there. Pick tool is great for picking up these small things. And if I have these little paper fibers hanging around and I want to clean those up, and I do, I'm going to take my Embelly Jelly and just roll it up into a little ball. This comes in a little sheet, and I just keep it rolled up in a little ball. And then when you push it into the side of your die cut, it'll pull off those little fibers and clean up your card for you. Because clean just clean we right don't up. want to give away a hairy card. Do you want a hairy card, Tom? No, no. <laughs> don't forget, I have some prizes. If you will. Don't forget, I have some prizes to give away. Okay, so that, then we're going to add the graduation accessories. So we have our, um, now this is the mini grad die. And the great thing about this little set is that you can use it to decorate all kinds of little projects. It has the <laughs> scroll. So we have that die cut in two colors and we are going to layer one into the other. So the black one I have cut a little bit larger. We're gonna set that right there and then put the white one on top of it that's our little graduation scroll. And then I love in this little set, there's the little bow die. This little guy. The bow die. The little bow. It's the tiny the little bow. bow and it goes on the graduation little, little scroll. The little I'm going to show you that close up. I just, it's just so nice thing is you can cut that in the school colors and you have that nice little accent. Now, this has the graduation hat in it as well. So we're gonna throw on the graduation. We've got the hat there. Now we have our front done and you can see how that little tight, that tight background just makes a nice accent for your card. Now we are going to move to the center, to the inside and I think Mr. Creek has things to give away. I do, I do, okay. All right, more typewriter trivia. Crap. Typewriter trivia. Tonight, I'm going to give away the Scribble Heart die, which is a really popular die of ours. We give away that die tonight. Uh, and my question is, are you ready, Crafters? Are you ready for a question? All right. What was the first novel, and who wrote it, 
on a typewriter. The first novel that was written on a typewriter and who wrote it? The name of the novel, the first, first name of novel the author. Written on a typewriter. It was Edgar Allan Poe. Once upon a midnight dreary as I pondered <laughs> weak and weary. Okay. I heard a raven tap tap tapping at my door. Are, are we, am I moving on or are we waiting? We're waiting for people to start answering. Okay. Nobody has answered. They're, not... they're trying to figure it out. The first book written on a typewriter. Okay, okay. Minus the music. Minus the music. That's right. Amy Buesner, you're a winner. Amy, Amy. Amy Buesner, in between shopping and watching the video, Amy Buesner was able to look up the trivia question. Congratulations, Amy Buesner. <laughs> you are the winner. Okay, we are going to move to the inside of our card, and we are going to um, get our paper ready for that, and we are going to cut that white, stock, white card stock 5.25 by 8.25. Now, most of the time when you make a typewriter card, you're going to use this size. It's a quarter of an inch smaller than your base card and you're, you're going to end up folding and adhering it. So most of the time, this is the size you're going to use. So this is why I make the jig and keep it in my die set. And it tells me that my eight, the standard A2 card is 5.5 by 8.5. But for the typewriter card, I'm going to cut the inside 5.25 by 8.25. And I'm going to set the die at 4 and 1 eighth. The distance from this outside edge to here on my jig, on my cheat sheet, is 4 and 1 eighth. So if I make a card, if I put this on my card then I can use this to mark my four and one eighth every time. Does that make sense? So I keep this with my set and I use it. Now then I'm going to, after I mark it, I'm gonna get into my set and I'm gonna get my typewriter die. This is the piece that you use that cuts the typewriter. And I'm going to center that in the middle, center it side to side, and I'm going to put the little wings out here on the side right on those four and one eighth marks. So I'm gonna set it in here, tape it in place, and then I'm going to die cut. And you can see from this that I have previously die cut this for such a time as this. We're gonna pop those little pieces out. Now, when we made the die, when I had the die made, it was not possible for them to give us no, a full possible. cut line right here. So the first thing you wanna do is take your knife and trim that right through there. Clip that so that you have that free, okay? And that's in the instructions. Now, we're gonna take our ruler, and we're just going to start right on those folds and we're gonna gently train the folds. We're gonna pull those forward. And at this time, we're not really interested in creasing. We're interested in just getting everything kind of going and training. So we're just kind of pushing against. A ruler works really well for this. Diane had a piece of chipboard. Diane um, Wilcox, who made our video for us, um, who has done a fantastic job. Um, just use a little chip, piece of chipboard. So, you know, whatever you have that gives you a nice straight edge, you're just going to gently train those folds on your typewriter. Then you're going to turn it over. And if you look at your typewriter, you can count down and you can go to the second fold and you're going to push it back the other way. And then you're going to go to the fourth fold and you're going to push it the other way. So the second one, the fourth one, the sixth one, and the eighth one, you're going to fold back the other way. So we're just going to, those are the ones that are going to end up pushing forward. So we're just going to kind of continue to train those. Now we're going to turn this over. And you can see we've got those folds going really well. 
Okay, now we're going to slide a pencil in the bottom slot down here, right into that slot, and another pencil up here in this top slot. And that's going to help start train those pieces for us. And we're just going to gently pull that forward. Now I like to take a ruler and slide a ruler in here at the top and set that right in there and pull that forward. Now if you have the Victor ruler, this is available on um, Amazon. It's my favorite ruler. It um, fits the typewriter shape exactly and it'll get you a really nice fold right there so that you don't have a bend there so we're going to pull that forward now before i go any farther before without any further ado yeah we should put tape on i should have put tape on the back so i'm going to stop and put tape on the back i'm going to flip it over put tape on the back now when we put tape on the back we're not going to tape over that line in the middle. We're just going around the outside edge. So I'm going to take my quarter inch tape. Whoops. And I'm going to go along that outside edge. So it was so awesome to get to see Loretta and Cindy and Kathy and the rest of you who came out in Florida. It was great to get to see everybody. I was really glad that uh, Loretta got to get away and Kathy come out. There. Kathy and was there. Cindy brought you oh, chocolate. Is Cindy, Cindy Is Cindy here tonight? Is hmm? Cindy here tonight? Because you're eating her chocolate. Mm. Yeah, okay, chocolate so yeah. we're going to we're going to work on training those folds. Now, once we have those, we're getting them trained really well. We're going to pull that forward and lay that down. And that's going to give us that fold that we need perfectly. Push that edge. I don't know if you can see how that's just giving us the fold that we need. Now, if we've got those trained. I'm going to pull this out. We're going to go back and flatten it because we are going to stencil on this card. So we've got our, our trains fold, but we're going to go back. We're going to get there. our graduation cap stencil. And we're going to lay that across the top. And we are going to stencil it. Now, if you look at my lovely tape job, do you like my tape job on this? What I did was I kind of made a stopping point because I'm going to put my stencil on the top. And then I'm going to come back here and do it again on the bottom. And I wanted to be able to kind of fade out where the center of the card is. So I just taped it off. We're going to tape that in place. And I didn't want a heavy look. I just wanted kind of a light look. So I'm going to take my graduation caps and set them in here. The fun thing about that mini graduation set, the mini die set, is it's got the confetti and stuff on it besides the scroll and the cap it's got confetti so we're going to be able to go back in and add confetti so there's our graduation caps across the front we're going to pull this off move it down and we're just going to do the same thing across the bottom how are we doing with our what people can see are, are they seeing okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are they i've got this lag going so Things are a little odd. So let's add some across the bottom. Now, I want to be careful not to get a bunch of brush marks across the top. And I am I tend to be a wild child with the brush marks. Wild so, child. Wild child. wild child. So this is the purple stencil tape that I'm working with. It's great to hold things in place while you're doing stencil work. And we're just going to go back in, decorate. And you can decide how much, how far down you want to go with it. I kind of wanted to cover the whole thing. So that's that. Pull off our stencil. Da, 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 da. And then we'll have our nice design. Now, I always keep my stencil tape 
on the side of my table back here. Y'all can't see this, but I have, I tape, I put it on my table and then I can reuse it. The tape? Yeah, my purple tape. Recycle that purple tape. Recycle that purple tape. I'm going to wipe that off with my Wonder Wipe. That'll clean my stencil. The tape is great. You just can't wait. It might cause you to be late. So that's why the Wonder Wipe's great. It doesn't leave any residue and stencil is clean. Okay, so now we have our background. We had our folds going. So we're going to go back and totally fold that up and pull it forward. And then we're going to work on that middle score and get that going. And we will have folded our typewriter into the basic shape. I really like to keep that ruler in there because it keeps that typewriter from crushing when you go to fold. There we go. And mercy, cooperate. And we're going to line that up and get our fold. Put my pencil back in, work on that fold. There we go. And work, sometimes that top fold, you want to pull from the back. There we go. So just keep working it until you keep get it, it where you want it, okay? In. There we go. Now, what we want to do for this card is turn our typewriter to our school color, which in this case is orange. So we're gonna take a piece of scrap paper, cut it five by four, and we're gonna die cut the just the typewriter piece. And I have that here. Then we're going to take our scissors and cut it out. Mr. Creek, did you get me that glue? What glue? The glue we started the... with earlier and then I don't know where we went this with glue it. right here? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. We're going to need it. Mrs. Creek, I'm on it. You are on it. We're going to trim it out. So this is fun because you can add the little color of the typewriter, and we're going to adhere it right in place. Right there. Right in place. We're going to clip those little clips. Clip your little clips. Right there. Because... That die didn't cut that all the way, so that little piece right there needs bits. clipped off. Just snip it right off. Snip it and Just clip snip it. it. And snip it. Now we're going to train our folds on this piece, and then we will add liquid glue to it and add it right on top of our typewriter, and we'll have yellow. Yellow. Orange. 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 Now, the fun thing about this card is once we get going, we're going to actually put money in that typewriter. Money. So we're just going to put glue all over that, make sure everything's nice and secure. And I'm using the Art Institute. Somebody asked me last week why they could not find the Art Institute on the website and the answer is that um, the glue is water soluble and we do not ship it in the winter and I wouldn't buy it online from anyone unless they are in a warm climate because it freezes and gets ruined. It gets globby and nasty. So we're going to push that down. And, you know, Art Institute um, won't, even won't even ship it off season. So there we go. Now, if I'm worried about those folds and I want to make sure we can go back in, I'm going to let that sit a little bit. But you can literally put your pencil back in, put your ruler back in. We're going to make sure everything is stuck down. And while that's doing that, we're going to get our keyboard going and our rail and we, um, you can cut the keypad from your card stock. So this die right here is your keypad die. And I want to show you, this was Diane's suggestion. If you take your, get in your dies here. 
This is your rail, which is going to go across the front of your typewriter, okay? And then you have this strange looking piece, and that is your keypad that's going to go in there. And then you have your keys, little typewriter keys. Now, Diane suggested, and it was a great idea, to die cut your keypad here and put your keys on it and die cut that. And then you have a pattern set up for all of your keys, which was a great idea. Diane Wilcox, show you this, which I thought was totally clever. Um, she, see her keypad there? She has it on um, another colored paper behind. So she has light blue paper on the top and a dark blue on the bottom and they show through. So you can do it that way. And this is how um, Diane put the going postal floral letters in there. So we're gonna work, we're gonna set up our keypad and I have die cut the actual keys with our super tacky tape on the back. So we're going to adhere those to our keypad. And we'll get our keypad going here. Get our pattern, lay it on there. So do we have anyone here going to the Indianapolis show? Do we have any indie people? So I know some people are ready to get out, some people are not. I just wanna encourage you, if you feel safe getting out, um, to think about, you might have to travel to go find a show. And I had, uh, we had a lady from Georgia who came to Stamp Fest because the Georgia show got canceled and her husband said, we're going to go. I'm taking you. So you might have to, if you feel safe, get your girlfriends and get in a car. Okay, got my keys going there. And then we're going to just pull that pattern up and we have our set all done. Was that not brilliant? Great idea from Diane. Okay, let's go, let's check our, see how our piece is doing over here. We're doing great here. We got it. You must uh, tell the score. story of the wedding party that attended Stamp Fest with Judy Packard. Oh my gosh. That was fun. Judy, um, I'm not sure how that actually came about. But how did Judy what were they? How they, did Judy find out about it? They were, there was, so we were at a Greek Orthodox church, okay? And the church has, do they have a school or do they just have a building? They have a school. Are you sure? Well, it says on the sign they did. Okay. So we were at the, we were at the school building, but they had this beautiful, um, what do you call that other church? Do they call it a church, Tom? The uh, Greek it was Orthodox? A, a hall, like a huh. um, uh, banquet hall. Well, we were in the banquet hall, but the church, oh, yeah, they had a church, they had a church the and... Funeral the day before. Yeah. The, yeah, the day before there was a funeral, but the day of the show there was a wedding. And so the one young man that was in the... So did you see how I was folding that while I was talking? The keyboard is made so these tabs fold down. So the, the people who put on Stamp Fest had signs all over the place, all around there that said Stamp Fest, parking and um, et cetera. So I'm folding the tabs in and I'm sliding that in and that gives me my keyboard. Now we do need to adhere this to the base, but I'm gonna wait before I do that. So we have our rail and when I use the rail, I cut one from cardstock and one with my super tacky tape, and then I'm going to attach one to the other. So the young man comes to the wedding, the groomsman, which is right next to the stamp show, and he calls his friend, who is the groom, and he says, I gotta tell you, you're in trouble because there's more going on with the stamp fest show than your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> because there were signs all over the place. 
and they thought it was hilarious. And um, so they ended up the whole entire groomsmen coming to the wedding party. And they found a card in our booth that they mm -hmm. liked. They found a card. And I had to explain to them the how card crafting was done. Yes. Let me tell you, Tom, it was a hardship for Tom. Now, I'm going to decorate my card. <laughs> um, they were hilarious. They bought the Love You Die, and uh, we made them a love card. And while they were hanging out, um, they were absolutely flabbergasted that we had driven all the way from Indiana. He's like, really? Like, people would drive all the way from Indiana to go to a stamp show? <laughs> they were they were in shock. Okay, this is the tiny block alphabet. We're going to add it across the top, and then I'm going to add in the confetti. And this is the confetti that I was talking about that comes on the, throw that in here, on the mini grad die. So there are also little confetti pieces that come. So you can cut those out and decorate. One of the things that I love about this typewriter is that you can have things coming out of the typewriter. And so we're going to kind of talk about that here in a minute after we get our confetti going. There's another piece of confetti. So we're going to put our numbers up there. So you can see this little um, alphabet set is pretty darn handy. It's darn handy. Darn handy for such a thing as this. Cut your letters, numbers. Yes, so the the boys were hilarious. I guess they weren't really boys, they were, they were young men, people. young men. Um, and while I was finishing up the card, they were getting a phone call from somebody's mother <laughs> who was very aggravated. Where are you? What are you doing? He's like, I'm making a card. So they were fun. They said they were going to come back every year. I don't <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they may have been as full of it as Tom. Maybe. Okay, there's our confetti. Decorating our card. Now, what we're going to do for this one is I wanted those graduation hats to be coming out of my typewriter. So I just cut some little pieces of clear acetate for this, and I've got three of those. And so you can see how you can put things in the typewriter and have it, you can have fun with it. And in this case, they pop up. So we're gonna use the little uh, mini glue dots and we're gonna glue dot the graduation hats right on those little clear strips. And those clear strips are three inches long and half an inch wide. So we're just gonna glue dot those on there and then we will slip those in the typewriter. And I think it's interesting, they kind of look like arrows, but they're really meant to be graduation hats. Okay, Thomas, yes. do you have another question? I do, I do. Okay, crafters, another typewriter trivia question. I'm gonna give another one of those scribble heart dies away. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Let me give another one of these dies away. Da, 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 da. Okay. So that that um, yeah, yeah, yeah. that die, Indeed, put it back Indeed. up there. Put it back up there. Yes. Is made the so that it has that opening, that break in it. The break. So you can make a heart, and a then heart. you can put a die cut sentiment word in sentiment. it. Sentiment. Like word. thank you, congratulations, in bless it. you. Okay. There yes, you go. There you That's have a cool it. die. Okay. The first typewriter laid the keys out in alphabetical order. Ooh. Why did this key layout not work? Okay, have fun with that one. <laughs> How are they going to answer that? They're going to tell me why it didn't work. It's okay. Pretty, it's an easy answer. Okay, we're going to we're going to slide work? those in and we will glue those in place and I'm going to use glue dots. So we're just going to stick them in there. That it was in alphabetical order. Yeah, the whole alphabet was laid out. If you notice on the homeroom, it's Q W E R T Y O U I O P. 
M-A-S-D-F-G-H-J-K-L semicolon. That's the home row, right? It was originally laid out A B C D F G H I J K. Well, the whole alphabet. You know how you know the, you know how the alphabet. Yes, I do know the alphabet. Yes, I knew you would. Yes, I did learn that and when I was in school. There was a reason why. In school, after they tried that, it did not work. That's why interesting. Why did it not work? It didn't work well for me with the other way either. But then there were boys to look at. There so, you go. You know. And so far, nobody has even tried to answer the question. That's right, Lois Back. Exactly right. The keys jam. And why do the jam. keys jam? Because the if you go in alphabetical order, you're using a lot of the same letters over and over again that are close together, and it caused the keys to jam. Correct, Lois Back. You are always in the winner circle, Lois. Congratulations. That's Lois very Beck. interesting. See, we learned not only did we learn how to make this amazing typewriter card, but we learned about typewriters. There you go. Amazing. Okay, now we need to add our little dollar, right? I'm assuming that you're going to do more than a dollar. You're going to take your money and um, fold it in half, and then you can roll it up, roll that puppy up, slide that behind, and slide that up through where the rail is, and there's your money. Okay, and then we have our rail, right? You got your money, honey. I got the money, honey. So we're going to add the rail right on. Now, when we adhere the rail, we're going to put adhesive on those little tabs here and here. Now, I like to leave the tabs flat. Diane likes to fold them in, but I will tell you that it really does work better to cut that glue dot down. If you're using the glue dot, cut it down and make it smaller. So this is the mini glue dot, and I am cutting it in half, and I'm going to stick it right on that rail, right on that little tab. Pull it off. And we want to make sure it is only on that little tab. So you all can find a method that you like for it. We're going to stick the other one on, and then we're going to put that rail across there. My, I have a creative mess here tonight. Woo! You know, there's something about when it snows that I just want to, like, dig into all my craft supplies and just create and make a big mess. Kind of like what I have here tonight at this table is a big mess. All right, let's put the rail on. Nice. I'm going to oh, stick it on so there. Much. And now we have our money going. By the way, Miss Creek, I gotta say this is a lot more easier in the studio than it is from. Oh hotel my gosh, room. in the hotel room with no lighting and that was a disaster. It okay. Didn't help when we forgot the tripod. No, we didn't have the tripod. We 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 tried. We tried. Okay, we now tried. we're ready we tried. to um, adhere that into our card. So I'm gonna pull off the bottom liner first, the bottom three, the side and the side and the bottom. We're going to set it in there. Wow, smoking hot. Mrs. Creek, that is so hot, you are practically burning your fingers. Oh, so hot, Tom. Now, we do want to make sure we're not gluing it down. So I'm going to um, make sure my money does not get stuck in my <laughs> <laughs> tape. Right in there. There we go. When you're hot, you're hot. And I said thanks a lot. Na, 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 Who na, sang na. that song? Jerry Reed. Did he was were we listening to that last week or were you singing yes, that last yes. week? Oh, yeah. Okay, there's our card. We're gonna push it down. Oh, I gotta take the tape liner off. There we go. You can see how we can shut that. We're gonna take our tape liner, pull it off. Yes, and we will have graduated from the graduation card. Graduation Let's station. Stick that in there. And then you have the awesome front with the pop-up card. And then here's what's fun. Let's look from what's the fun? side. What's fun? What's fun is the mun, hun. So we have our <laughs> we have our little graduation caps that are kind of floating around. So you could put the confetti up there. You could put another scroll or the the um diploma. I keep calling it a scroll. Diploma on there, whatever you want. But here's what's I want to show you from the side how I that's just sitting in there, and then you can just pull that money out. Look at that. Fun, fun, fun. 
So I hope you've enjoyed. So you could put a fifty or a hundred in there, or, or even a twenty. Well, and, and that would make a really it, nice how much is it worth to you, baby? Well, how much? The, the how car much? is worth twenty bucks. So put a twenty dollar bill, and that's a forty dollar <laughs> gift, right? All right, I'm gonna pull the camera up. Thanks for hanging with us hey, tonight. Thank you so much. So next week. Next week. We are. <laughs> sorry. We're upside down. That was. That was. I'm all dizzy. That was terrible. Next week, we are going to work with the... Um, with what? This card is beautiful. 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 I'm not sure beautiful. which version. We're doing a version similar to this. And um, this is... I'm going to show you this close up. We're going to take the self-adhesive pearls and use that for the keyboard. So that... We're going to have so much stinking fun Some version. Week. So next... <laughs> <laughs> this week will be the last um the last of the typewriter, typewriter card series. that we have and so if you want to buy the typewriter bundle Act now you'll have until next week and then it will be um discontinued and you're going to save almost 30 dollars that's right 30 dollars plus you're going to get remember rate. remember <laughs> you got that postage edge die i didn't have any garlic tonight Thank you the tell. Lord, thank the Lord. <laughs> the postage edge die has the happy mail sentiment and the um happy mail. I'm a happy mail. With love. So, <laughs> so all right, we will see you next week. May Tuesday. the Lord bless you and keep you. Thanks for joining us. We enjoy Thanks. you every Tuesday, and we can't wait to see you again next Tuesday. Bless you. Bless you. Bye.